in the next five minutes I will show you how to fix those nasty artifacts caused by the denoiser in Blender using DaVinci Resolve Studio. Sit down, relax and enjoy. Okay, so here we are inside DaVinci Resolve Studio. So I'm gonna grab my uh, my cut. I'm gonna import this here. Uh, let's switch to the um, to the cut workspace and uh, let's drag this down to the timeline. Okay. So we got here our our cut and our edit here. So let's switch to the color uh, workspace and uh, if I hit play. You can see that we got this really ugly effect. Uh, look at this, like this, like some kind of flickering or jittering caused by the uh, cycles, the noiser. Also, this uh, this effect might be seen on the octane render denoiser. Okay, so I'm gonna teach you how to fix this. Okay, so. Let's uh, return here to the normal workspace. And uh, here we got this first note. And uh, let's press Alt S two times to add uh, two serial notes. And uh, right here, we're going to change the name of this to Temporal NR. Okay. And let's switch these to levels and these to color. Okay. So let's go to the first node and I will going will go down here. You just have to click here on this icon and let's go to the temporal NR effect and uh, on frames. Let's put this on three and let's switch from faster to better. And uh, on Luma, we're going to put this on something like 35. I don't know. Okay. And uh, now if I hit play, we can see that that ugly denoiser flickering or jittering has completely gone. So uh, at first view, this seems to be too perfect to be real, but this effect might, in some cases, it might damage your, your cut because as you can see, we, we, we have now uh, too much smoothness on the textures of the buildings and we lost a bit of detail so uh, you have to be careful and uh, don't put this on two height values like for example I don't know 80 because we will we will we'll have a really 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 smooth image and we don't want to lose the detail on our on our shot okay so I'm gonna leave this on 35 um, there are also a few things that you might have in account when using this uh, this way to solve this uh, ugly effect. For example, if we if we pay attention here, uh, let me increase the gain a bit. Uh, add some contrast here. Uh, we can see here that we got. This some kind of distortion in the motion blur and uh, well I the best way to fix this is just to uh, to experiment with this maybe changing this to large medium or small actually I think it looks better in large and uh, in the amount of frames maybe put this from 5 or 4 and uh, let's play again we got also this problem with the webs when when he's swimming you can see the previous and uh, the next frame so uh, i think we can fix this by masking the web line but uh, i encourage you to find another tutorials of davinci resolve content creators science um i'm honestly i'm really not using this program i just picked it up like two months ago and uh, I just wanted to show you this uh, effect of the temporal uh, NR. Dear artist, thank you for joining me today. 
If you found value in this content, please subscribe, hit the like button, and leave me a comment. Keep creating. Peace.